Hello everybody, this is Nolan Cat here. And uh we are back in Satisfactory and last time we went over we built a massive chain that goes all the way over there and I think today I might actually go check on said chain just to make sure the course is moving along now in this episode in particular my main plan is to get some of this stuff, uh, some more stuff at the factory up and running. Uh, for next episode's plan, uh, we're going to look into this space elevator. The episode after that, we'll look into whatever comes after that. Maybe we'll work on power. Got it all planned out. Now, when you're watching, this will probably be the, uh, this will probably be pretty soon, uh, the day before I leave, probably. I'm actually, be, you might be watching this on the day that I do leave for a nice vacation. But, in the meantime, I've got a bunch of videos for you guys, I hope. So, yeah. Oh, and I see the quartz. Do you see it? The pink. There it is. The pink stuff itself. It appears to have been making it all the way from the top down the mountain. And now it's just barely coming out. Peeking out to say hello. And by saying hello, it will come down here. Come to me. And it will go all the way home. And I'm also going to pick up a large amount of the rock quartz. Uh, 41 of it actually, so that I've got enough to get a few upgrades. So, ouch, now we're going to head home. So let's get to some quartz researching then, shall we? Should be pretty simple. All we have to do is do some researching on whatever there is. We got quartz crystals. And then we've got silica as well. Big me with little quartz. But I do have a crystal oscillator, which we're going to probably have to wait a bit, but now we know what we can make out of stuff, and I should probably research this with some of the stuff I collect. Now that takes a lot to make a little of that. So, uh, guess we're not making a lot of that yet. <laughs> now, what we could do is make some of this quartz production stuff, but we don't have much of a need for any of it yet. So, it's not even here yet, so we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna start working on something different. Something bigger, perhaps. And that is tier two of this part assembly. What I was planning on. And it requires cable and it requires screws. It requires iron plates. Okay, and for this new task, I've made ourselves a new factory. And by new factory, I've updated some of this stuff. Now, our entire plate and rod factory. Turns out what I realized was that this these things, the miners, make twice the amount of resources they need for one small chain of So I just simply split them up 
with these two chains, use this one. And then I've got this one, which we have an empty slot for whatever is next. We have this factory, which should be make going through here, making rods, which is going into here, making screws, which are coming out here into this box. And now, in the meantime, I'm going to do the same thing and make a cable factory. So, now I've got to do that. So, see you guys when I've done that. And there we go. So, that should be a second grid now. And I've powered this up. So, now this is making this copper, which comes into here to make things to be made into wire. And then, the wire, it's taken be made into cable and now we send cables up to here and we send wire to the bottom and we're also out of power thankfully I've got a lot of fuel on reserve so let me quickly restock this thing actually I was wrong we our grid is actually getting stressed out so gotta add a new person to the team always add a new people to the team we are back online Which means uh that we can actually have our system not being so stressed out since now we have a much higher capacity. So now we're making now we can add even more to our power grid. With our add thing, so let's see what we have. I'm gonna go over here and get some rods. Since I need some of those, I'm gonna get some plates since I also need some of those. And I'm gonna fill in a couple of our stuff so it's a couple of our stuff that doesn't make much sense but okay you know, we'll go with it and there we go now we're going to check on screw production which has been pumping out a lot of screws and we'll see how we're doing on that the answer is not good enough but uh okay now we've got a little bit of time to kill not too much but just a little bit and in this time i think we should go check out uh deuterium number two since we have the one, the closest one, that one, which is covered by boulder, but I think the other one's over here. But the other one's in the other direction, it's over here. And this one, this one has, uh, this one has nothing that we know of yet. So it could have a boulder on it. I hope not, but I have a feeling that it's also going to have a boulder on it. Or something else, like a fire guy, which we're not fighting yet. Because I saw earlier... A rebar gun in when we were researching our aliens and I probably want that before fighting fire guy I'd appreciate being able to just sit up somewhere high where he can't hit me and then just pew if you know what I mean I'd also turn some alien carcasses into biofuel if I want might be good for our system all right just 300 meters now where are the bad guys there they are these bad guys I'm actually gonna lure them away from the edge because you know I don't think I've got that much valuable material my factory that has that if this guy would come to me though that'd be really nice here he is there we go he's dead this slug's mine and hopefully the caterium is near this is caterium which it might be I call it This is, so it's, I think, Caterium. But Caterium is also possible. And it is there. 
Yeah, but it looks like there's no boulders. But if there's not that with such a resource, I'm assuming it must be pretty valuable if one of the spots is just a boulder. Oh, no. Am stuck? Okay, we're fine. Probably also an unstuck thing. But I don't know what it is. Alright, I just built a giant pathway up to where we can see the, the ore. I, I hear, I hear Mr. Fire. It must be up there. And the Caterium should be just over there. And which is not close enough. Now, having such an object, I very much assume that there is some dangerous being here guarding it. There's that thing, which I think we've seen one of those before. Now, I don't even have the resources to build a miner. I don't think. Yep, I'm missing something that I need from an equipment workshop. Which I can obviously just get one. Just like that. And there we go. Now I have one. And instead of going down there, I'm just going to build from a safe distance. Without having to deal with that man. And uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I'd not be able to afford anything. Well, that, this has been quite a surprise, so I am going to head home, grab some more plates, and we might actually be taking home some Caterium today. And thankfully, the journey is a lot less dangerous than the other one. I don't know why there are boulders on the other vein, and this one's just so unguarded, but... Hopefully we can get some. I am now heading on a journey to the stuff that I need, which is Caterium, I guess. I, it's not really, I don't really need it, but I want it. Don't even know what it's used for. But that doesn't change anything. I want it. I'll just head up to here. And we bring our stuff over. Along with taking a wire. Way, way away. Wire and conveyor belt. And there we go, we can see the watchtower that is our home. And there's another small mountain. Which we're just gonna narrowly avoid. There we go now. We're actually going to go ahead and get ourselves a smelter already hooked up. And those couple of strays in there help make Caterium. Perfect. Now, where was that power line? Right there. And we can just hook that up to here. Awesome. And then we can use that actually to make power line over here. Except for that. But he's, of course, idle, waiting for old Caterium, which is now. There should be two spikes. Yep, one and two. So, miner is online. Awesome. Now we should have enough cables to get ourselves uh, the, uh, whatever it was. Something to do with uh, heart production, I think. It was 
part of them. There we go. And boom. Milestone. Now there goes that. More complex uh, assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Interesting. So we should have some new stuff. Yeah, an assembler. And craft two parts and two one part. Alright. Now for this it costs a lot, including a new thing, which is it rotors. So let's see how we make those. Make modular frames. We actually have some of those. And silica. Can make that. Power shared rotors. They just cost some screws. And great news for us, I have screws. So no, we can use that to our advantage. Maybe make ourselves our first part assembly line, possibly for reinforced plates, since I don't really like those. So, uh, that's what we can probably do. The assembler. And I don't actually have enough parts for that, so let me go craft a few extras. Then we're going to place down this assembler. Okay, I'm going to place the assembler. Uh, did not place that super easy, but good enough. So we're gonna see what we can make, which we can make these special parts. Space elevators, smart plating. We definitely don't have enough to make smart plating. But, we don't, we're not, this is, we could make rotors. Make another one of these for rotors, but we're not doing that as of right now. My current plan is reinforced iron plates. Now, this is what I have this entire thing set up for. Now, I have, let's see, what, what power line can I use? I can use that one. I can bring it over here. And then I'm going to need a lot, of, a lot of power. I need to use that to power this. And I need that to power that. To power that. And then I need to use this to power that just to power that, which I think puts us way, way over. So, uh, our thing's gonna die very soon. As soon as they all spike at once, it's, we're all gonna die. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make some biomass. While I wait for that thing to power up. Actually, I wanna watch this thing do it first run. Well, you know, it would be really helpful if this thing was actually hooked up, you know what I'm saying. Now we can see it do its first run. So, get these split apart. In this end, it collects a few. This end, it goes, I think, immediately. Yep. That one goes. Then this one goes. Making more, more resources. In which the rods will come over here and make screws. And plates will come over here. And it looks like screws are going up faster, so we might eventually want to lower the amount that screws gets. But actually, it looks like they're just about even. So, looks, looks good. And we might lose the power grid here. Because now this entire thing's being very uh taxed and and we have failed successfully. So let's uh let's let's throw in a little bit more power. Because that's what everybody always needs. Even more power. And let's throw our remaining biomass there. Turn it on. And there we go. We are now back in business. And our very new assembler is making its 
first parts. This appears to be making them very, very fast. So, we are going to now place a storage box. We'll actually place it on top of the screws. And we'll use, uh, we'll use this as a kind of engine way. Yep. See, efficiency sometimes means building on top of your factory. Building, you know, maybe one time I'll actually build parts just on top of each other. But now, we have our plates, which should be leaving, and then coming down into here. But, you know, we've made this assembler, which is pretty good. It makes parts, and here they are, right here, reinforced plates. I think there's another one coming, yep, right there. And then they go in here, now we've got something actually making us reinforced plates. Now, I think that's going to be all for this episode. Except, uh, except that I'm incorrect. There's Caterium that still needs to arrive. So I guess it might actually be all that is there is for today's episode. Because here it is. Our beautiful, shiny ore. Caterium, which according to our inventory, Caterium, Caterium is mostly used for advanced electronics. Which I might have to do soon. So now, these are coming on in. Going like this. Eventually they go through the mountain. We start something making Caterium bars. Which will be nice. And we still have to figure out what quartz is for. Because I I have no idea. Let's just have a sitting up there. And you know, that quartz took two episodes to get. Just that big chain of quartz. And this Caterium one took like a fourth of an episode just to get a resource on this deuterium stuff looks like it's going to be even more valuable than the quartz and that means that you know quartz was not a super efficient thing and you know I guess you could argue that maybe we should have done that later but uh I don't know but that's going to be all for today's episode the next episode we are going to do some research and building space elevator which I should have enough resources to build actually right now but that does not mean we are going to build it right now so I'm going to make that in the next episode and I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was Nolan Cat and I'll see you guys in the next one bye